Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Harling. I'm sorry I'm so late with giving you your math homework. I had something I really had to do after work, and it took longer than I thought. So I am here now. Today is Wednesday, December 2nd, 2020, and I'm here to go over your homework that I assigned you for tonight. At the top, it will say multiply with 2 and 4. Over to the right, it says practice and homework, lesson 4.1. And at the bottom, it says chapter 4, page 195. And then I'm also going to do the back, which is 196. So this is the homework you were given to do tonight. Here is the learning target. It says I can, sorry, multiply with factors 2 and 4. Again, our learning target is I can multiply with factors 2 and 4 because that's what we've been learning for the last couple of days in our math workbook. Now, number 1 has done has been done for you, but I just want to go over it. The directions say write a multiplication sentence for the model. You have the two groups. It says think there are two groups of five counters and that's what you see so you have the two factors that you need to multiply two times five equals ten because when you count up all of the counters from each group there is a total of ten so ten is our product now for number two i'm not going to do it because now you understand what you have to do look at the equal groups and make a multiplication equa uh, equation with the factors and then give your answer. When you do three, four, five, and six, please make sure you use a strategy if you need to, to help you solve the problem. You can make equal groups like they did for number one and two. You could make a number line, maybe on a scrap sheet of paper. You could make an array. You could make um, a bar model. You could use repeated addition. You could skip count. Whatever strategy you, you need to help you solve. Now, you might not need a strategy because you already know the answer, and that's fine. Just make sure that you write the answer under the problem, but use scrap paper if you need to. All right, I'm going to do number seven with you. Now, you'll see that I've already done it, so you can copy it, but I want to explain it to you. It says, on Monday, Stephen read nine pages of his new book. To finish the first chapter on Tuesday, he needs to read double the number of pages he read on Monday. How many pages does he need to read on Tuesday? So, we know how many pages he read on Monday. So, please underline Monday and circle nine pages because that's what he read. Now, if he wants to finish the first chapter on Tuesday, he has to read double the number. So, please underline Tuesday, underline he needs to read, and circle double the number because that's important. Double what number? You're doubling the number that he read on Monday, which we know was nine pages. So here I've shown you, if I double nine, what will I get? 18, because nine plus nine is the same as nine times two. So he'll read nine pages on Monday, nine pages on Tuesday, and that means he would have read 18 pages. So please copy. Now, if I'm going too fast, you know what to do. You can pause the video and then fill in what you need to fill in on your paper, and then you can hit play again. All right, now I'm going to number nine where it says write. Ms. Harling always does this one with you or for you, so please look at what it says. It says, explain how you can use doubles when multiplying with four to find four times eight. Well. I wrote, I can find 2 times 8, because remember, 2 and 4 are related. So I don't know what 4 times 8 is, so I'm going to go back and do 2 times 8, because they're related, and that would give me 16. Then I will double 16, and I was about to write 
So 16 plus 16 gives me 32. So now I know, and let me just put this down so I can write it. Four times eight equals 32, okay? So please copy. I will hold it up so that everybody can copy. I know it looks a little cloudy on my screen. Boys and girls, I have some decorations up so they're creating a shadow on your homework, but I hope that you can see that. It says, I can find two times eight equals 16. So then I will double 16. And when I double it, 16 plus 16, equals 32. So now I know four times eight equals 32. So I'll hold this for a few minutes or maybe a minute or so. You can copy, but if you're not finished, when I go to the other side of the paper, you can pause the video, finish writing it, then hit play so you can um, start where I am. So please copy. Okay, Ms. Harling is going to the back. Again, if you're not done, hit pause, finish it, and then you can pick up where you left off. Now I'm doing, I'm going over the back of the paper, which is page 196. So number one, I'm not gonna do. It's the same thing that was on the front. You're looking at the equal groups and you're creating a multiplication sentence that matches this picture. I'm not gonna do number two. If you need space over here to figure it out using one of our strategies, go ahead and do that. All right, let's see. Number hmm, three. I'm not going to do number three either. Number three is related to what we talked about today when we were talking about the tickets and we were looking at the picture graph and we know that each ticket represented two. Well, for this problem, each circle represents two. So you just have to count by twos. All right. I'm going to do number four. So let's take a look at that. It says the table shows the lengths of some walking trails. So if you wanted to go on a walking trail just to get some exercise or just to enjoy nature, they are giving you how long the trails are. So if you went on the mountain trail, it would be 844, um, the length of that trail is 844 feet. If you went on the lake trail, maybe walking around a lake, the length is 792 feet. And Harmony Trail is 528 feet. Here is the question. How many feet longer is Mountain Trail than Harmony Trail? All right, please circle the word longer. I talked to you in class that any word in a word problem that ends in E-R, they want you to subtract. How, many, how much longer, how much taller, how much shorter, how much faster. So F, if it always ends in ER, they want you to compare two things by subtracting. So we are comparing the mountain trail and the harmony trail. Well, we know the mountain trail is 844 and we know the harmony trail is 528. So we're not gonna do anything with this lake trail because they're not asking us about that. They're only asking about the mountain trail and the harmony trail. And I just told you the word longer means to subtract. So that's what we're going to do. So over here, Ms. Harlan is going to write 844 for the mountain trail subtracted from 528, which is, and I'll zoom in a little bit, which is the harmony trail. So now I'm going to subtract. There's more on the floor, so I have to go next door and find 10 more, and we've already learned this, so this is a review. Cross out the four, make a three, and I know it's a little hard to see, so I'll zoom in, and now I'm gonna put 10 with four, and I'm gonna have 14. So now I can subtract. 14 minus eight is six. Now I look at the tens place. There's a three and there's a two. 3 minus 2 is 1, and 8 minus 5 is 3. So this is our final answer. The mountain trail 
is 316 feet longer than the Harmony Trail because that's what the question asked us. How much longer is the Mountain Trail than the Harmony Trail? Our answer is 316 because we subtracted. All right, number five I'm not gonna do. It's very easy. It says find the sum. You're just gonna add. Let's look at number six. I'm going to do that one. It says a bar graph shows that sports books received nine votes. If the scale is zero to 20 by twos, where should the bar end for the sports? So what they're telling you is, let's say we were gonna make a bar graph and you always start with the letter L to make the graph. They're telling you at the bottom, it starts at zero, but it goes all the way to 20, but you have to skip count by twos. So we would do something like this. Two, gotta do it small. Four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, and I'll make this a little bit longer. 18, and at the top would be 20, okay? So let me just zoom in so you guys can see what Ms. Harling did. I started at zero and I counted by twos up to 20. I did not count by ones because that's what it said in the problem, that you would start the scale at zero and you would go to 20, but you would do it by twos. So that's what I did. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, okay? Now, in this bar, you voted for a sports book. So maybe this bar graph is about your favorite kinds of books. Nine people said they like, and you can circle this, nine people said that they like sports books. So I would draw a bar but what they want to know is where should the bar end? Because nine is an odd number. All the numbers here that I skip counted by are even. So where do you think I would stop my bar? If you said between eight and 10, you're right. Because nine comes between that. So I'm going to